Hi friends! While I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture or you may have heard about Chalk Couture but you're not currently working with the designer because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. I can't forget the day we met. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Tour opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Hello, hello friends. Thanks so much for joining me. Happy Wednesday. So let's jump right into this so we can get into our fun project. So you guys heard me talk about Club Couture, which is the hottest DIY home subscription service out there. Um, it will be $19.99 plus tax in the U.S., $26.99 plus tax in Canada, free shipping on your monthly shipment every single month. And it will include an exclusive size B transfer as seen here. This is an example, along with three coordinating chalk paste singles. Now, this happens to be May 2020's Club Couture. It's called Love Conquers All. Sad truth, it already has sold out. Now, what does that mean, though? You can still join Club Couture because Club Couture does not begin until the month after you join. So if you join in May 2020, your Club Couture subscription begins June the 5th of 2020. And what you could normally do is add on the current month's Club Couture. Sad, sadly, you can't do that, but you can add on our uh, Kickstarter kit. The Kickstarter kit is absolutely amazing and gives you... Such fun additional surfaces and supplies to use for your chalking pleasure. You'll get a 9x12 porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard. You'll get a two-pack of board erasers, a small squeegee, a three-ounce bright white chalk paste, a multi-tool, and a 55 by 7.5 palette frame. So you can do that as soon as you sign up for Club Couture, Club Couture and put it in your cart. It'll prompt you to add it. Now, here's some other fun things about Club Couture. Number one, we all, meaning all my customers will always get flat rate shipping. It's $6.95 in the U.S. and $13.95 in Canada to ship your entire order to you. However, as a Club Couture customer, you get bonus flat rate shipping of $4.95 in the U.S. and $9.95 in Canada for your entire order. It's super awesome. Now, the other cool thing is you get access to private Club Couture or Chalk Couture sponsored sales. So our Club Couture customer promo this month is called Last Chance Love. What does that mean? Well, all you got to do is be signed into your account on my online store and go to the last chance section of my store. In there, you're going to see once you're signed in that all of those transfers that are in the last chance section are all discounted to 50% off. You guys, that's better than what we even get it at. 
Um, the last thing about Club Couture that you should know is another bonus is you go into my private Club Couture group where I'll go and make three additional projects every single month without fail to give you the most bang for your buck. Now, if you need the details of Club Couture, just comment club down below and I will be sure to message it over to you. And if at any time you would like to go into my VIP group and you are not a chalk couture designer, just comment me down below and I'll be sure to get you those details. The next thing I want to chat with you about is purchasing your business in a box and joining my team and becoming a chalk couture designer and lunging your empire. This is our awesome new designer kit, aka business in a box. It's $99 plus tax and shipping in the US, $129 plus tax and shipping in Canada. It's valued at $250 in the US and $350 in Canada. It comes with five three ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12 pack of thank you cards, a 12 pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a 9 by 12 porcelain steel, eight a magnetic chalkboard, the Read Me, our gorgeous spring summer catalog, six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers. And do you remember that Club Couture transfer that I told you was sold out? Well, guess what? We have enough for our new designer kits this month. So in your kit, you will get that Club Couture transfer. Now, I realize I just spit out a whole lot of stuff coming at you. And you might be saying, Jess, it's all well and good, girl. But I have got so many questions. No worries. I've got your answers. All you need to do is comment, join down below, and I'll message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Talk Couture, but joining my team. I want it to be something that you're super happy with. Now, for all my brand new friends who are just joining today, here's a little something about Chalk Couture while I get my screens ready. So, hi, Laurel. Hi, Megan. Hi, Jenny Johnson. Hi, Dion. Hi, Lakers girl, Golden. Hi, Darlene. Lakers girl, I'm sending you a link to my VIP group. Um, since you are brand new, I'd love to have you join me over there. Hey, Darlene. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Carolyn. Carolyn, I sent you the link. And Kathy Mize, I sent you the link. Hi, Debbie Green. Hi, Rebecca Burns. Hi, Mary Beth. How are you? Hi, Catherine Mahal. Hi, Terry Gaskin. How are you guys? Hey, Johnny. Hi, Leanne. Hi, Anita. Oopsie. There it goes. Um, hi, Heather. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Jean. Hi, Matt. Hey, Matt. I miss your face. Hi, Deborah. Lakers girl, you got it. I will send you the details on Club Couture as soon as I end this live. You will love being a member. Awesome. And I sent, I will send you the details also about joining my team. Hi, Linda. Hi, Rebecca. How are you guys? Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get started. So, hi, babe. Hey. How's work? You just missed... Um, nope, I'll tell you in a little bit. Okay, so... If you guys remember... Yes. Oh God, this is so crooked. I apologize. I'm so sorry, you guys. I didn't even think to look at this. There it goes. Okay. So if you remember yesterday, we created this super cute little hanging pennant banner with our bloom transfer so I can hang it on one of my planners um, that I just actually got put outside. Now, what I was thinking is, because it's so tiny on such a big planner, I was thinking maybe I could add a little something to it. So I'm going to share with you a quick secret on something that I did yesterday. I don't know if you guys saw the post of the gorgeous hanging banner I made out front for out front of my house with the um, coral, our coral transfer on it. But I'm going to show you how I painted the um, background. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. Now this works with acrylic paint, chalk paint. Um, I would not use any um, water based paint. So milk paint would be out. The sea paints I've been using would be out. You, you don't want to use that, especially if it's something that's going to be outside because you run the risk of the paint running. You really do. We don't want that to happen. All right. So how are we going to do this? So the first thing you want to do with your banner is if you want to iron it, go ahead and iron it. I'm not going to do it. I probably should, but I'm not. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your fine mist sprayer and you are going to really wet you don't want it to be so wet as if you ran it under cold, like under water, but you want it to get wet. Okay. You want it to be good and wet. Okay. So I've got that done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bristle brush and for me right now, I'm going to use the Spanish Moss Home Decor Chalk. Okay. Oh boy. I probably should have opened this all the way and I did not. Okay. It's fine. Hopefully it'll squeeze out. Oh yeah, that's good. And I don't even know that I'm going to need much more than this because I'm going to wet this as well. 
Okay, and I'll stir it up a little. Hi, Lori Robbins. How are you? Hi, Samantha Miller. Hi, Roxanne. You're welcome, Lakers girl. Hi, Dana. Hi, Sage. How are you feeling? I love you. Hi, Jody. Hi, Iris. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Jody. Thank you for sprinkling, Dana. Hi, Lisa Batten. All right, so I mix that up, right? And I paint, I got this nice and wet. Now I'm going to get my bristle brush, okay? Try not to fling it across my cute little jumpsuit that I'm wearing today. Ooh. Okay, really? Every single time. If we could ever do a live with Jessica where I don't have a reminder going off, it would probably be newsworthy, I think, guys. I'm going to go with newsworthy. Okay, do you see how nice and easy that glides on? Now, I've shown you guys how to dye these with Rit dye. Sometimes I don't feel like taking out the Rit dye and boiling water and getting super hot water and twisting and turning for nine bajillion years. Okay, and not to mention that I have yet to get a perfect black with the Rit dye. Okay. And not to mention, I haven't totally not um, shrunk all of my stuff when I put it in to the dryer. So I clearly don't know how to use a washer and a dryer. So there's that. So, but here's the fun, a fun fact. Everybody should have some sort of paint at their whim, okay? Some sort of acrylic paint or chalk paint, Okay. I've got, I happen to have some chalk paint and I happen to have the green color I was hoping for, which I'm hoping matches closely to our pesto. And yes, it's out the window now of just keeping her tablecloth clean. You know what? Now I feel like it's that simple. I was trying. She's trying really hard to keep it good and clean. Nope. Not so much. Okay little bit left to paint you guys all see see how quick and easy that was and it's gonna stay we're gonna we're gonna dry it and it's gonna stay on here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a super cute little leopard print pattern on it and we're gonna make it look almost camouflage okay and I think it's gonna make our banner pop the one that we have for on top of it. So there we go. Banner painted. Easy peasy. Okay. Whoa. We don't want to do that though. Okay. Thanks, Linda. Ah, oh, thanks, Sage. Yay, Carolyn. I'm so excited. So, so excited to hear, girl. As soon as I'm done my live, I will approve you. Okay. So let's try this now. You guys, I have no idea what I did to my wrist, but it legit hurts so bad. I can't even like shake my hand. I was trying to like, I do my customer thank yous in my VIP group and I was a little behind getting them done and I was trying to type them all up this morning. Oh my gosh, it took me so long. I was like trying to type. Oh my gosh, it was killing me. Oh, it was brutal. All right. Hey, Michelle L. Elson and Mary Egger. Hi, Donna Bragg. Hi, Sandra. Sir, is it Serta? Welcome. Michelle says, I never would have thought to paint fabric. Um, I honestly just got a group of these on Amazon. I just grabbed a bunch of, it was like a, a bundle and it was just a bunch of random colors, but it was more fall-esque colors. So there's that. But thanks for joining on YouTube, you guys. Hi, Jenny. Yes, awesome, Sandra. I'm glad I said your name right. So it just takes, it takes just a second to, I mean, well, more than a second. It takes a little bit to dry it, but once it's dry, we're going to be ready to chalk this cutie, and we're going to do our leopard print. It is in stock, you guys. It's going to be so adorable. I think I'm going to do a mix of black, and maybe bark. I don't know. I'm going to say. Or maybe white. Black and white. 
or Black and Meadow. I got to see how close to this it is. I think this looks very pesto-esque. Um, I, I feel like, at least. Hi, Anita. Hi, Christy Colombo. I love this color too, Carolyn. It's called Spanish Moss from Folk Art Chalk Paint. Oops, that's definitely still wet up there. Yeah, if you guys didn't check out my the banner that I made from front of my house with one of our hanging banners, I used the hanging banner refills and I used some fabric tack and I turned it into a little mini flag for my little mini flag post. Um, oh my gosh, it turned out beautiful. The color of the, I used, what color is this? Cascade. And I did coral and white hot mess for the actual coral transfer, which is, guys, that's going to be selling out soon. Once that's gone, it's gone. We are retiring the Live Deeply collection, which is a huge bummer. So we have Endless Wonder and the coral from Live Deeply left. The octopus already sold out. It's already gone. We're almost dry, you guys. Hi, Tanya. Thanks, Christy. Oh, I'm so glad you got yours yesterday, Kathy. So glad. Thanks, Jane. Oh, Michelle Olson, I love your heart. So hard. You're the best. You are absolutely the best. I think we're dry. I'm going to go with it. I think we're going to dry. All right, so now that we have that done... Let's grab, now let's see how cute that's going to look. Oh, yeah, tell me that doesn't match the pesto in there. Made for it. It was made for it. Okay, so now let's grab our leopard print. Now, I have already used this in my team page. You guys might be able to see. Hold on, let me show you. Right here. See how I did the leopard print already? So I've already written on the back of my transfer. So it's all ready to rock and roll. Now, I am going to be putting it on top of a textile. Yes, it was painted. I'm not waxing it, and I'm not going to fuzz it, okay? Because I want it to really stick on here. So I don't have any, you know, bubbles and stuff. Do not dare fold on yourself. Transfer. Don't do it. Okay. Hopefully. Oops, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I like that. We're going with this placement. All right, let's get these guys out of the way so that this is going to lay flat. Let's get my twine from our hanging pennant banner. Now, this is our hanging pennant banner. I don't even know if I said that, that I did this on. Nut measures 9 by 12. Guys, it's priced so right. If you do not have any, I suggest you grab a few out of my online store. All right, so we're going to use black velvet. Oh, my black velvet is out already. Okay, so we're going to use black velvet. We're going to use, I think maybe meadow is nice and green. Or, hold on. Do we want to do, hmm. I was thinking, do we want to do like, oh, hold on. I think it might show up nicely. I think meadow will show up nicely because that's a deeper green. So I think we're going to be good. What if we do some black velvet? And meadow, what do you guys think? What do we think? What do we think? Oh, yeah, Mary Beth, I shared it from Instagram over to my business page. Isn't it so cute, you guys? Thank you, Michelle. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks, Dana. Thanks, Dion. Thanks, Linda. All right, what do you guys think? Do we think we, we can get away with meadow and black velvet? Obviously more black velvet, but what do we think? Or do you think I should stick with like a brighter green? Like maybe, what is this? Is this spring zing? Yeah, spring zing. What do we like better? And here is this for inspiration. Woo. You guys tell me what you like better. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Duh. Wait a second. 
You guys know. Nope, nope, nope. I forgot I'm putting this outside. We're going ink. Thank you for saying that, Tanya. I was not even thinking of what I was doing. Okay, I meant to say black velvet ink. And we don't have spring zing, so we're going to have to go meadow. I was not even paying attention to my life right there. How I manage some time, I do not know. Hold on. Yes, we want to use ink. Ink, 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 not chalk paste. It's going outside for sure. So that means we're going to heat set it and everything. So sorry. I think, yeah, I think the meadow and the black velvet will look good on here. I definitely think it will. Okay. Hi, Eva. Hi, Terry. Hi, Melinda. Oh, I'm so glad you got it. Yay. Just do it. I like the way you think, Linda. Oh, I can't open it. Oh, it hurts. This feels awfully light. Whoop, whoop. Let's hope we have enough. Oh, that opened a little easier. Thank God. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and do the metal on the bottom and the black on the top because I think it will pop better that way. Does that make sense? So let's come in. Let's make sure we have it pushed down really well because y'all know I get too excited sometimes and I just start. Okay. So we're going to do... Front row, we're lifting right there. Okay, I want to make sure it looks right before I get all the way finished. So let's get our black velvet on here. And I don't mind if it contaminates a little. I'm towards the end of my black velvet anyway. Come in with some of the green, the meadow now. And now I just got to be careful because this is a brand new meadow, so I don't want to contaminate. Okay, let's see how it looks, shall we? Oh. It looks sort of cool. I'm not mad at it. I think I'm going to go a little heavier with the black, though, and do more of the, the lighter. No, maybe heavier with the the meadow 
and then have more of the black velvet. in some spots. <gasps> oh, I just put a lot of black velvet couture ink in here. Hold on. We got to clean that out. Yikes. Okay, I got it. Whoo-wee. I'm just the name of the game is just to take your time and get it where you want it. That's the name of the game we're playing. And you could have absolutely done this all solid. I just thought it would look super cool with the the banner getting ready to hang over it and I you know here's another other thing because the banner is going to be hanging over it and I'm probably going to fabric tack it down you probably don't even have to do this part maybe just do around where the transfer is going to be seen like that area but we're already in it so we might as well go with it right right okay Okay, we're getting there, you guys. It's going to be so cute, and I'll look at comments in just a minute. Let me just finish up what I'm doing here. Oh, my wrist is killing me. Hmm. Probably shouldn't have gone as far down as I did. I realized I can't get my squeegee in there. Good thing we have multi tools, you guys. Good things for these. Oh, this is going to look so good. I think it will. Do you guys think it will? Let's come back and do some more meadow. Okay. We 
we are looking good I'll probably try pulling it up in just a sec I think I'm gonna try to finish it we're gonna see what happens we're gonna make this all green For real? Oh my gosh. With the reminders, Jess. There we go. Okay. We're almost done. Loving it. Oh my gosh, I love it so, so hard. Okay. Oops. Okay, we are just about done, you guys. Okay, last bit with the black velvet and we're done. Okay, I think it's all covered. Looks like it at least. Okay, let's get this out of the way and let's peel up and hope I moved fast enough. I gotta be careful because I definitely have ink on my fingers. Oh. Well, there went ink on my floor. Should have put the lid on first, goofball. Okay, hold on. Let me get the ink up. Oh, thank God, it really wasn't on my floor. That's good. All right, I'm going to go put this in the sink real quick, you guys. I'll be right back. Stay there. Let's dry it and get it heat set and it's all ready to rock and roll. What do you guys think? Let's see. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Georgie. Hi, Kat. Hi, Lourdes. Yes, Tanya, you're always my hand handler. Hi, Vicki Keller. Hi, Laura. Yes, for sure, Linda. Thanks, Dina. Thanks. Hi, Karen. Oh, thanks, Carolyn. Thank you, Mary. Is there a difference in the banners and the banner refills fabric-wise? No, they feel the same. The hanging banners and the pennant banners feel the same. To me, they do. It's just size 
and style. That's all it is. All right, now let's go ahead and let's dry this. I, you know what I'm gonna do? Actually, if I was smart, I would put the lids on these, don't you think, guys? Oh yeah, I need a handler all the time. At all times, I require a handler. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's dry it up. It looks so good. So, so good. I love it. It really is, Eva. Thanks, Eva. Lisa. Gosh, just wait till we put the pennant banner on it. It's going to be so amazing. Now, I definitely did not do a good job of getting my excess off, so this is going to take a little bit to dry. Hey, babe, can I have my cup on my desk? My Starbucks cup? My glass one? Thank you. Wait, you don't hear me, Melinda? I do hear myself. I hear the dryer. Mostly. Yes, camo for sure. Like it? Yeah, there is a bottom. It's going to be the bottom part of my hanging banner for the, oh, the, the, the planners. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, Eva? I didn't think so either. But then I was like, hmm, let's test it out. So it doesn't have to be leopard print. You could totally do camo. For sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. So I seriously do, this is going to take a lot for me to dry this. I don't want to keep you guys on. Here's what I'm going to say. I will be posting this picture the finished project pick as soon as I'm done. All I'm going to do is dry it and then I'm going to heat set it. I'll use my iron. Um, I have a heat press. I'm going to do 330 for 30 seconds on both sides. If you have an iron, use it on a cotton setting for four minutes on each side. Okay. Once it's totally dry, like the ink has to be dry. You'll know the ink's dry. It feels tacky. That's how you know it's dry. I realize I have a lot of extra ink. I should have squeegeed it off and I didn't do it. I forgot to. Um, so I have to dry the ink now. But if you'd like to get the link to my VIP group and you are not a Chalk Couture designer, comment me down below. If you'd like to get the details about joining my team and getting that business in a box, um, comment join down below for my opportunity group. And if you'd like the details on Club Couture, comment club down below. And I will message you those details. So stay tuned. I'm going to keep on drying. And I will get the finished project pick posted not only in the comments, but it'll be in my, right on the my business page, okay? So let me make sure I launch in 25 minutes. Uh-oh, what's, oh, oh, the NASA launch, is it? Oh, okay. Glad you can hear now. Hi, Tammy. You too, Dana. Thanks, Samantha. Thanks, Dana. All right, you guys, I will chat with you all later, okay? I'll see you tomorrow for another super fun project. Bye, guys.